Hi guys, welcome to this Soul Level 1 playthrough. Uh, for those who don't know what this is, you choose a character that starts at level 1, which is Deprived is the only class in Dark Souls 2 that starts at level 1. And basically you just don't level up. You go through the game, you stay at level 1. Now, I'd actually prefer to play um, Scholar of the First Sin, but right now I'm kind of maxed out on save files and I'm not really sure if I want to delete anything. Um, there's some playthroughs that I'll finish up sometime soon, so I might just wait till that. But yeah, I also plan on doing one. I definitely plan on doing uh, Scholar of the First Sin. Uh, soul level one playthrough, especially since I won't be able to do any of the DLC material. Um, now this is the DX9 version, but it's also um, it's also on an early patch, which. So I actually did choose healing wares, but I forgot to put it on my hotbar. Uh, um, oh, so what I was saying... Yeah, I chose healing wares. I figured that would be the most useful. Oh, I actually like Estus Flask on the... Sh the first one. Oh, and I picked up the stone, so I'll, we'll see if we get anything good with this. Alright, 2k souls. Not bad. Definitely not... Could have been better, obviously. Um, so, let's see. So this is actually an older patch, a really old patch, patch 1.8, 1.02. Now the reason why I'm doing it on this patch is some of the spells, well, yeah, I guess for this playthrough it's mainly the spells, but there's also some other things they nerfed in later patches. So that's the one upside with this. And I'm probably not going to loot everything, but at least in the beginning, I kind of want to just cover all bases. So the downside about not having the DLCs, part of it's you don't have some really nice items like Flynn's Ring. But you also don't have Bright Bugs, which can be very useful. And I won't be able to use any spells for a while because I need a ring because I I have I don't start out with any attunement slots. All right, I guess I guess we'll start out with this. Another thing they didn't nerf is. Um, mundane for daggers. Now, with all my stats being six, I don't know if mundane's really going to be that great. But I am sort of curious. And that also, unless I, unless I farm for it, I won't be able to get mundane for a while. Also, because of the way. Are you? But I take go. Okay. I just wanna get through this dialogue and then I'll. So that hope. Just help. I 
Actually, I forgot what I was going to say, so I probably should have finished my thought before I... Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Um... Something's weird with the work hook. It's supposed to give you five decks. Regard in the current patch, it does that. But um, so basically, I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able. Ha I'm not going to have the decks to use the rapier, which would it be really useful. Especially because a lot of weapons in this patch are... A lot of the weapons were buffed in later patches, so I'd prefer to use a weapon that's um, good in this patch. And there's... I mean, with six in all of your stats, there's a limited amount of weapons available to begin with. But I will be able to use the mace. And that'll probably be my main weapon for this playthrough, as far as I can tell. But The other thing is, I did want to set this up, but I don't know if I'll be doing a huge amount of commentary throughout this playthrough. Um, I tend to get dry mouth if I talk a lot, so but I do want to try and make this as interesting as possible. I usually don't screw this up, but, um... So I actually don't think I'll be able to use this fire long sword. I'm gonna see what it I will be able to and if anyone was wondering how I'd be able to get twelve decks to use the rapier, um Kale's helm gives you two decks and the work hook gives you five. I'll just come back there later. I I usually don't screw that up, but I have a feeling I'm going to die from fall damage. Yeah. It's kind of just a little shortcut to get to Kale right away.
Oh, and I am going to be cheesing the Pursuer and Dragon Rider. Um, I mean, I'll be fighting them again later, so it's not like I'm really getting out of anything. Um, yeah, I'm... I realize this is kind of boring just grabbing the items. But I feel like it's quicker to do it this way. I'm just trying to think. I don't want to have to use an effigy so soon. It's kind of... I didn't expect to die. If I knew I was going to die this much... Um, well, I wouldn't have... Yeah, I wouldn't have... Um, I wouldn't have done all those. Okay, so we'll, I guess, you know, I'll, I think Dagger will be fine for Lost Giant. I was going to buy a club, but we can get a mace. We can get a mace after Lost Giant. Well, I mean, we can get a mace right now, but... I've already spent a lot of time just dicking around, basically. Okay, so last time I tried this, I actually got hit by the blast. Oh yeah, so I still need to talk to Kale. I'm not. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll get the. I'll go for the life ring now. And also get a large titanite shard, which is kind of rare.
Hopefully this kills him. Yeah, if I had... If that... Well, it didn't kill him, but... It, luckily the follow-up attack did, because otherwise... That was going to hurt, basically. So the biggest concern I have with this is agility. Because that's... Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to get that. Yeah. Um. And interestingly enough, um, in Lobos Jr.'s Soul Level 1 playthrough, he said that was the biggest concern for him. And I haven't actually watched his yet, because I want to do this kind of blind. Now, I, a while back, I actually did try doing this. I don't think I got very far, and then I um, deleted deleted my save file. So if I die here. It's very unlikely I'll die, but I don't want to. Um, I will just go back and get a mace. So, I don't know, my character kind of looks like Jessica Alba a little bit. I don't know. Or it sort of did when I was creating it, and then I just... I don't know. Oh, okay, let's send her back. Gotta remember to talk to Kale. I I need to get his key and I guess also kill him. All right. Um. Oh, and I need to get the Estus Flask shard. I kind of forget where they are in this version. I want to make sure I have enough for Melentia. Um, I want to get her ring. Um, If I'm 
Um, alright, I'm gonna have to pop a soul, I think. We call this really? Okay. Thanks. I'm just... Yeah, I just, I want to, I want... Even though I don't really need the souls that much... Two of these. Take these. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got the life ring too. Probably not gonna help that much. Um. Okay, so. Oh, that's right. I also need to. Get the what's it called? Sublime bone dust from that um, old knight. This might be a bad idea, but I'm kind of thinking about trying Red Tearstone Ring on some of the bosses. I don't know. I don't know if I need this shield either. I think the blue, the blue one is better. But just in case. I was kind of grabbing everything. I have no idea what's going to be useful and what's not. Well, I have a general idea. I'll take that back. I I mean, I know the mace is probably going to be the best weapon for this playthrough. I'm just curious what the scaling is on the dagger. Okay, so this is 87 or er, 86, 85. If I make it mundane, I think it's like. Well, I don't know. I'm. <laughs> take me a second to do the calculations, and it's kind of irrelevant at this point. Basically, multiply 6 by 14, and subtract that from 170, and then divide the attack rating by 2. Or not the attacker, and the base damage by two. And that will be how much the dagger does, but. It's not that hard of an equation to do in my head, but like playing, doing commentary, and doing math is just more brain power than I want. Oh, this might not be good. Yeah. Well, we'll just fight him, I guess. I don't... Uh, I guess this is gonna... This shouldn't take too long.
Well, this mace is plus one, and he's this guy's weak to strike. Yeah, it would have been easy. The problem is, if I was going to fight him legit, I would have lowered the platforms. And that kind of just made things harder. Did I? Yeah, okay. So I need twenty eight. No need for the gods. Yeah, so this raises your faith five. Unfortunately, I still don't have attunement. Offer your soul. And I'll also need some skeptic spice. Ah! Ah! I've no choice now. I just remembered she's she's still gonna invade later because this um I mean, it's okay it's I I at least we don't have to pay the pay the toll for the moving the path but um yeah. Next time I go human,
I'm generally going to try to avoid using NPCs for bosses. But, um, I'm going to summon Masterless Glencore, at least to, well, if I'm human, I'll do it. I'll summon him just to help me clear out the way to the... I'm going to save some of the boss souls so I can trade them with Strayed. Because even though I don't have, I won't have the intelligence for the hood, I'll still get the bonus to my stats. Alright, did I, did I get anything else? Yeah, I guess I might as well wear that. That'll at least increase my resistances. Uh... I haven't decided what to do about Malin or Ma how to how do you pronounce his name? I kind of want to, I think I'm going to want to buy things from him, and I have to spend 15,000 souls before I sell certain things. So I actually should kill him soon. I'll probably kill him after Pursuer. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to kill him. Well, I don't, I actually, I don't have to kill him, but... I'm... Whether or not I have to is besides the point. Um... So like I said, with Dragon Rider and Pursuer, Dragon Rider I'm going to be fighting again in Dranglake Castle, and Pursuer I'm going to be fighting again in Iron Keep. So, yeah, I'm going to be cheesing them, but I...
I'll be fighting them again later, so don't worry. So this might not have been the best way to get to Pursuer. Well, there we go. I guess he's not that hard to get past. The turtle guy, I mean. I actually did have fire bombs. Which reminds me. Oh, you know what? I I don't really need to equip fire bombs. If this doesn't work, I'll just So I'm not sure if I... Did I equip the shield? No. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna just, um, so I should either upgrade the, if I'm gonna fight him legit, I should upgrade the mace. I don't know, maybe I... Maybe I do have... To, no, I don't... I don't think I have to parry him. I didn't think so. Let's see. Okay.
that armor can be useful for the Skeleton Lord's fight. I'm going to be able to use any of these shields, but um, doesn't really matter what I buy. Um, all right. Wait. Okay. Let's. Pretty sure that was six thousand, but thanks very much. Uh, and do please come again. Yeah, for the Oros armor, you have to. Um, you need to have zero souls. So he sure. That's right, I have the the bow equipped. Well, yeah, you know what, for now, we'll just... Oh, okay. Remove this. How much does this even give me? So his gravestone will appear a bit later. Oh, I know what I can do. We can go to the the mansion. Now, I usually don't even bother looting this lock stone. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself with this skeleton. Shouldn't be too bad with the mace. And actually, you know what, I'm just gonna firebomb him, I don't care. Okay, maybe not. He's too smart for that. Oh, that's right. Oh, man. I I gotta get that. I know I'm gonna forget this later, so I really do want to get that Estus Flask shard in um, Force of the Fallen Giants. I 
I'm also gonna have to decide which weapon I want to make raw. At least until later I get more stones. Because... Um... We do have a crossbow, which... I generally don't use ranged weapons, but... I don't know, I might... This... I kind of don't really know what... Um... Don't really know what I'm going to do with in this playthrough, because it's I guess uncharted territory. If you make it back. Thank you, Kai. And you know what you can do if you don't have a fire weapon? You can just do a plunging attack. Oh, that was... Usually that works, or at least... I've only... Tr I've only done it a few times, but... Um... Yeah, so I guess it... I guess there's a narrow hitbox. It sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. So if I want to, I can actually skip the Ruined Sentinels if I, um, if I want to, but I think the Ruined Sentinels are probably going to be one of the easier bosses on this run. If anyone doesn't know, it's the Rune Sentinels are weak to strike damage, so this mace is just gonna really wreck them. Well, that's kind of anticlimactic. I did. I think I can, yeah, I can one shot them with strong attack at least. Now, next time I get a good chunk of souls... Oh, I don't have a torch yet. I can't do the... I mean, I don't really need Twinkling Titanite right now, but... Um... So what I was saying is... I should buy the Cat Ring. I guess I should join way of blue just to make sure I have enough health to drop down there all right so I'll upgrade this mace huh? 
Yeah, I might as well upgrade it now. Also, start buying some bolts. I'll be around if you make it back. Oh, I know I can. I, oh, yeah, I do have torches. I just remembered I got them in the. You get them in the Majula house. Yeah, I kind of wish I had bought the cat ring. Because this area, there's some drops. Like right here. Because I... that drop... Oh, wow. Wall hacks. It's pretty funny. Um... Okay, I'm... I'm going to I'm going to get the ring of binding now. I might as well grab this. I don't really need it, but it might come in handy. So even I don't really need the souls that much. 
Finger, especially since I cheese Dragon Rider and Pursuer, I'll fight this guy legit without any summons. And it's actually I it's actually gonna be a pretty easy boss fight, I think. Um I don't even know if I need to use I was trying to think when I get the first fragrant branch of your yeah, I, I don't, I just don't know if I really need the resin, but I know I can buy an infinite supply of it, so it's, I, and the first one I'll get is actually, Now, I kind of did expect to do a little bit more damage, because this mace is at plus 5. Plus, I have the buff and ring of blades. Not that I'm complaining. Like, I don't want this to be... I mean, this is... I have a feeling this will get harder as the game goes on. Because all these bo the bosses I'm fighting now are just meant for low level characters generally. I mean I had a hard time with some of these bosses when I first started playing. Especially Pursuer. That was like... I was used to playing in Dark Souls 1 I was used to mid-roll. And then Dark Souls 2 it's... tanking really isn't as effective as Dark Souls 1. Keep forgetting about the Estus Flask shard and um Well I do remember this but uh the one in Forest of Fallen Giants. I was trying to think of the I guess the life ring would actually be useful. So that's that's one reason to go back there. You If you want to know how many times you've died, you just go offline and look at this, and it tells you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I... Oh, so this just, the reason I unequipped everything is equip load affects fall damage. Satisfied? Guess I'll go buy some oh, other yeah. stuff. I knew you. Don't really. 
really know what to buy. I'll be around if you make it back. I guess after this I can buy some more. I can start buying the rest of the consumables from what's her face? So I'm not, I guess I'm not going to be able to go down there yet. Or did I not equip the ring? I think that, I've done that before. I have a feeling, alright good, okay. That's what I, I just, because I've, I've dropped down there with relatively low health. So... Now if I die here, well you know what, I guess I, I guess this will give me slightly more HP. The Ring of Binding. Alright, we're good. This is the worst drop here, so. I still don't have the timing down. So how much is this actually giving me? 814. Yeah, f only 40 health. So I think I can just get this with my bombs. Oh wow! I was, I'm lucky. I'm glad I didn't. I didn't fall through. Because I almost certainly would have died here. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Um, I'm going to hold off on that. Oh, um, wait until next time I use an effigy. I'd rather have more Estus Flask shards so I don't just burn through the life gems. I mean, I have a feeling I'm not going to run out of life gems just because, um... I don't have anything else to spend my souls on. So the axe is actually really good in current patch. So for my soul level one in Scholar of the First Sin, I will be using You know what, I don't want to see my character's hair. I I really don't need the extra souls. Um
Let me remember what I was trying. Okay, the life ring is one of the things I need was gonna get here. So once I get the large, or I mean the dull ember, I can drop, I'm gonna grab the, there's a firestone down there. But, I mean by the time I get the dull ember, it's kind of, there aren't a lot of bosses left that fireworks well on. Alright, let's see here. Um, oh. So I think there might be some useful things. I want to get the hunter set. Well, actually, the leather set, but. Well. Some people know what I mean by the hunter set. I think this is just a torch here, but let me just, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna have the stats for the, the Bastard Sword, but I just... I thought maybe it would be useful for something. Well, it's not gonna be useful unless I have the stats, but... Like I said, I might... I might have the stats, I don't... Is there anything else up here? Oh, okay, we got a soul. I thought there was an effigy up here, but I guess... I don't know. Are they gonna let me rest now? No, okay. Well, I'll just have to fight our way through. Yeah, if you're having a problem with these guys, just get a mace. They're very weak to strike damage. Oh, let's... Might as well... No. I'll turn the Estus Clash Shard. I know it's kind of a not overly necessary. Let me do it. Let me just see if I have more than Oh I got two. Okay, good. And there's another one in No Man's War. Alright, I think I can upgrade this mace now. I need some souls, but so I stats on the bastard twenty. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to use it. Now in Scar of the First Sin, there's 
I can get a strength ring, ring from the DLC, so that'll that'll open up some more possibilities in terms of weapons. You would. If you make it back. I'm gonna buy some more throwing knives. I think those are gonna be useful. And might as well. Once I get the royal soldier ring, maybe I can wear some better looking armor. But I'm probably just going to not wear armor most of the time. I don't know. As much as I like fashion souls, this run is going to be kind of challenging. At least now you... I had a texture mod that makes it so the skin looks normal when you're hollow, but um, Jita Sato, or I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but um, OBS crashes. My recording software it crashes when I try and... But I, I don't know, I'd like to look into that at least. Oh wow. I don't think I've ever been hit by that attack. Okay, I'm... I'm just gonna go with whatever makes <laughs> makes this the easiest. So want this. I kinda want the cat ring, because there there are some drops. Put this on. At least cover up somewhat. And stay under Okay. That'll at least give me some extra souls. Oh, and if you get oil on you, you can roll in here. I'm pretty sure it removes it. Is there a guy up here? I think so. Good old Ring of Life protection. Been so long since I've used any of those. Um, for anyone who's played Scarlet the First Sin, you probably know what I'm talking about. Foot soldier sword. Now that's kind of an interesting weapon. I don't remember exactly why, but I 
I'll take a look at that later. I don't think I'm going to bother with the banded axe. I won't be able to use that. I've noticed in this version, they seem to throw oil a lot more. I think there's some fire arrows here. Just have to be careful. Because those guys. So yeah, I really don't know what other weapons I'm going to be using yet. I haven't... So. With Longsword, I won't have the Dex. Otherwise, I could be using the Fire... Um, could be using the Fire Longsword. so I won't be able to buy any spells from that wizard guy. I'm just trying to think if I'm... there's anything else I need before I fight the boss. And I suppose I could open up the shortcut, but... It's not that hard to run back if I need to. Oh, okay. Well. I'll put this on. No. Okay, we'll put this on. weird.
probably should be a little bit more careful, but... Because I'm doing so much damage, I get a little bit overconfident. Yeah, so that's... That's kind of why I said Mace is probably going to be my main weapon. Because there's just so many bosses that strike damage does well. Oh wow, I didn't realize the time. I I gotta stop this. Um, thanks for watching. I'll be right back.